All right, for this activity, we're simply going to count up WSFUs and get a grand total for the building mode for this residence. To do that, we're going to have to take the list of fixtures that we have in front of us. We're going to have to assign a WSFU load. To do that, we're simply going to go to our code book and we're going to look up 38240, table 1B. We're going to use the table that deals with non-public fixtures. Okay. Of course, this residence falls into the category of a non-public building and the fixtures inside of it are going to be non-public use. So for this, we're going to simply look for the total WSFUs. As you can see in the table, we have hot, cold, and total loads for many of the fixtures. We'll start off by looking at the list and then just gathering up the total WSFU and then eventually grand totaling it to get the building load. So for a kitchen sink, a kitchen sink off of our table, the total load is 1.5. So we'll just simply write that down. And then the next one, uh, again, we're in a residence. It's another kitchen sink. It just so happens that the uh, owners are going to put in a food prep, and it's going to have a garbage disposal. And realistically, in this installation, that doesn't change anything. The garbage disposal has no water going to it, so there's no uh, no special things that we have to take a look at there. So we're just going to simply grab another kitchen sink, and we're going to put it down for 1.5 WSFU. Okay. The next thing on our list is a dishwasher. And of course, a dishwasher only has hot water going to it, so we're still going to grab the total load, which is 1. Okay. Next one is a laundry tray. Actually, I'm sorry, it's a automatic clothes washer. Automatic clothes washer is going to be 1.5. And the next one down is going to be our laundry tray. And again, that's going to be 1.5. Okay. Now the next one is a master bathroom. And in this bathroom, we have a whirlpool tub, uh, a four foot shower, two labs, and a water closet, which is going to be flush tank. Now, this bathroom is basically going to be categorized as a bathroom group. And so for this one, we can go down to bathroom groups on our table. And now all we have to do is simply grab a particular group and get the total load. Now, you notice it said that the water closet was flush tank. So that means we're going to be looking at either this group here, or we're going to be looking at this group here. Now, it really doesn't matter how you lump these fixtures together. If I go tub, lav, and water closet, or if I go shower, lav, and water closet. Either way, the grand total for those fixtures uh, will be the same for a bathroom group, plus the extra fixtures. So for this one, I'm going to simply take the water, uh, the whirlpool, excuse me, and one lav out of the two, and then we'll take the water closet. And so that would be a bathroom group with a gram total load of four. I'm just going to write that down over here. Okay, that's my bathroom group load. And then, remember, we had an extra shower, and we actually have an extra lab. So a shower would be worth 1.5. Okay. And a lavatory sink would be another 1 WSFU. And so if we add those all up, we end up with 6.5 WSFU for that master bath. Okay, the next one down, the main bath. Now in this one, we only have a five foot tub shower module. We have a lab and we have a water closet. And again, the water closet's a flush tank. Now it's a five foot tub shower module. That's basically a bathtub with a shower head. Okay, so when we come down to our bathroom groups, 
we're simply going to take a bathtub, a lab, and a water closet, and we're going to get a grand total of four. All right. And so, in fact, write that down over here. We have four for that particular group. Okay. And then we have a powder room, and in the powder room we have a flush tank, water closet, and a pedestal lab. So now we're going to be out of the bathroom group category because we don't have the three fixtures needed for a bathroom group. And we're going to grab a flush tank water closet for a grand total of two. And whether it's a pedestal or not, a lavatory is still going to be 1.0. All right, so now we've got that half bath. Then we've got a basement slash guest bathroom. And in there they have a shower module. Flush tank, water closet, no lab. So now we're back under the categories of bathroom groups, but this time we only have a shower. So our load's going to be 3.5. All right. So now we've got that one taken care of. And also down there in that guest bedroom, we have a stackable washer and dryer. Well, we need the information for that clothes washer. Okay, the clothes washer is going to give us a 1.5 load for total load. And then the last couple of items that are left are a bar sink and a bar sink on the residential or excuse me, non-public use is going to be one. And so we'll write that down. And then we will grab two half inch hose bibs, two half inch hose bibs, one half inch hose bib is three. So two of them are going to be worth six. And then the last thing that they've got on here is uh, a garage that has a uh, wall hydrant. And that wall hydrant has hot and cold, and it's half inch in diameter. Now you'll notice on this table, it uh, really doesn't have anything that fits that. But at the bottom, there's a footnote that says, for fixtures not listed, factors may be assumed by comparing the fixture to a listed fixture which uses water in similar quantities and similar rates. Well, what we can do is we can actually look at the next table, which is 382.40, table two, and on that one it is public use fixtures. But on that table, if we drop down, we will find that they actually have a wall hydrant with a hot and cold mix. And so for this activity, we're going to simply go down here and we're going to look at the half inch diameter one. And we're going to grab the total of three WSFU. And we'll put that back over here on our list. And then we're just going to simply add them up. So our 1.5 plus our 1.5, even though we had a one. 1.5 again, and we have our bathroom group there, plus our extra fixtures, plus we have another bathroom group. Two, add another one of that, and then 3.5 off of that, 1.5 off of that, and then 1 off of that, and then 6 off of that, and then on to that, and we get a grand total of 35.5 WSFU. And that will be the building load. And that's what we'll take to the next step.